Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well and thank you so much for watching my channel. My name is Nicole if you're here for the first time. Today I'm still on a soup mode because it's still cold weather outside and that's why I decided to make a French onion soup and show you my favorite recipe. So for the French onion soup you're obviously going to need some onions and you can use five to six onions depending on the size. Mine are quite large so I'm using five. You're gonna need two garlic cloves and one of the key ingredients is wine. I'm gonna be using port wine because I love the French onion soup with port wine but you can also replace it with white wine. If you're cooking for children I would obviously skip the wine and the soup is going to work great anyhow. So outside of these key ingredients we're going to use some seasoning, we're going to use thyme and sage and we're going to top the soup with a baguette with a gruyere cheese. So without further ado let's get started. Let's start with the onions. I'm going to peel them and then I'm going to slice them into rings. And making this soup doesn't go without little crying. So first we're going to slice the onions and I'm going to cut narrow rings. When cutting onion, it helps when you try to breathe through your mouth only. It's obviously a key to have a nice sharp knife. When you get to the end, I would just cut it in half and then slice the rest. So the only challenging part is done. The onions are nicely sliced and Use two or three garlic cloves, you can either mince them, which is what I'm going to do. If you don't have a mincer, you can just slide them or sliver them. And now we're going to caramelize the onions. So now put a big piece of butter in a large pot and I'm using approximately 60 grams. Let the butter melt, but don't keep it on too high because we don't want to brown the butter. And when the butter is melted, add the onion. I'm going to mince the garlic and now add one teaspoon of granulated sugar and now we need to saute the onions with the garlic and the sugar for approximately 20 minutes until the onions brown nicely. So I'm going to increase the heat between medium and high and I will occasionally stir it but it's going to take approximately 20 minutes now. Now it has been 10 minutes and you see that it's slowly browning. I'm still keeping it between medium high temperature and I'm going to continue until it's nicely brown. So now this is after 20 minutes and I decided to give it another five minutes. So just make sure you check it and stir it occasionally so it's not sticking too much at the bottom. So after 25 minutes I'm going to add thyme and a sage. So add it in, keep it sauteing for approximately two minutes. So now I'm going to add one tablespoon of flour and if you want a gluten-free version you can go without it also. Mix it in and let it saute for about a minute. So now add the wine and I'm adding eight ounces or 250 milliliters of the wine. So either the white wine or the port wine. Now I'm going to add water and if you have a broth you can add broth but I don't have broth so I'm going to add some chicken bouillon. You can use vegetable bouillon as well and I'm also going to add one teaspoon of salt. We may need some more later. So now raise the temperature and let it simmer for 10 minutes. And while the soup is cooking and we have 10 minutes, I'm going to turn on the grill and we're going to grill some baguette with a grilled cheese. So I'm going to slice the baguette. And this is a beautiful touch with that grilled melted cheese on top of that caramelized onion soup. Place the baguettes. I'm only going to use four pieces for now. So you can use the Swiss Gruyere cheese or I'm using this Jean-Charles Arnaud Comte which is a French variety of French Gruyere cheese. And I'm gonna use the big grinder. You can grind it in a bowl and then put it on top. I'm just gonna do it like this to save dishes. Okay, just like that and I'm just gonna pick up what's on the parchment paper and place it back on the bread 
And now grill the baguettes for a few minutes until they're a little crispy and the cheese has melted. So at the end, just taste the soup and add a little bit more salt if needed. I did add a little bit more salt to mine, I would say maybe another half a teaspoon. And I would serve the soup in a bowl. And then I would take the toasted baguette and just put it on top inside of the soup, just like that. And just to give it a little bit more color at the end, I'm going to put another leaf of the sage. Like that. And one small piece of the thyme. I'm just gonna put it on the bread. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you tried the soup, it's really amazing. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.